how do you sum that one up? Um, yeah, look, um, I suppose when you look at the balance of the game, we had got into a lot of good positions, um, but then, you know, our final cross or final ball, again, you know, let ourselves down a little bit with that, and they caught us in transition quite a few times, so, um, you know, but overall, you know, the boys stuck at it and kept going right to the end and, and got a point, I suppose, you know, in the end, I think, you know, we were deserved a point. I suppose it's signs of us ageing uh, when you get a kid scoring the equaliser, Bernardo, and his father, I think, scored the last goal against Wellington a decade ago before before he was uh, before he left the club. Yeah, look, you know, um, it's something we've been, you know, trying to get a little bit more end product out of Bernardo. You know, even though he's quite young and he's learning the game, we keep encouraging him to be positive, and you know, he. You know, got inside the back post and got the header at the end. So, you know, um, full credit to him that he kept going there. Um, as I said, uh, you know, a little bit disappointed that we, you know, didn't make more of it, the opportunities that we created. Now, now Wellington has just come off the back of three games in a row and I, I thought they really tied towards the end. And you've got Melbourne City Tuesday night and then you've got another away game, I think, against MacArthur on Saturday. So how are you going to back this up? And, and obviously Melbourne City, uh, you know, they're the setters at the moment and then MacArthur are not too bad. Yeah, look, it's, it's difficult. I think it's difficult for all the teams with these um, catch-up games. And, you know, I suppose we're fortunate enough that we don't have a lot of catch-up games to catch up um, because it's going to be, you know, stress, stretch a lot of the teams. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a difficult game for us Tuesday night to go to... To Melbourne City, you know, you know they're flying at the moment. You know, had a great result last night. Um, so, but you know, we we have a belief in ourselves. You know, we'll go there and, and play our brand of football, and you know, um, whatever players go on the park will give their best effort, and that's all as a coach you can ask. And just Clough looked encouraging when he came on. I mean, he yeah, he did. Yeah, you know, he had a couple of good touches, had a you know a shot at goal. So you know, he's. Um, Finding his feet in the team as well, you know, the style of football that we play as well, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, but, you know, promising signs. Anything from you, Ed? Is it? So, I say that again? Uh, yeah, no. I think Val's covered it. All good? Anyone can I ask else? Another one, Carl? Is that everyone? Can I ask another one? Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. So, just are you, do you plan on rotating, like for the next two games, and you've got to see how I suppose players pull up. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how they pull up. Um, you know, a couple of them have taken a couple of knocks um, in today's game. So, you know, we will um, travel to Melbourne tomorrow, um, assess the players tomorrow in Melbourne, and if we need some. Reinforcements. We'll bring them over from Adelaide. So, um, you know, we'll give our players a little bit of time to rest and recover, and then we'll make those assessments tomorrow in Melbourne. And just the way Wellington played the game, especially in the first hour, they seemed to sit and, and hit you on the counter, and, and they kept exposing the same sort of areas. So, is that? I mean, it was sort of, I thought I saw the same sort of. Thing yeah. Look, that. that's. Yeah, we knew that was going to happen. That's the. That's the way Wellington play. They, you know, get they're very well organised defensively. Um, and we knew that the risks were um, where to play the ball and where not to play the ball and at times we played the ball in the wrong area and they intercepted and then caught us on, on transition, you know. Um, but, you know, credit to the defenders, they, they defended well, they re recovered well and, but, you know, they're a very good side, um, Wellington, and, you know, they made us work extremely hard for it tonight and, and, you know, they're in a run of a lot of games as well themselves. So, um, you know, uh, you know, I, as I said, I'm disappointed a little bit. The players are disappointed, but, you know, we're, we're going to be happy with it to come away with a point, you know, scoring late. Given that, would, would it be easy to play Melbourne City knowing that with their attacking three or four, they're always trying to get the ball up the other end, you know, not counter-attacking. Are they an easier team to play for Adelaide, do you think? Oh, look, all teams have their way of playing and... And you have the pros and cons for all of it, and it's a matter of um, you know uh, us as a team working um, to on the weaknesses of the opposition and and to negate their strengths. And today um, we got it wrong a few times, but you know that's football. Thanks.
All good. Add anything from you? Um, all good. Thanks, Carl. Beautiful guys. Right, nice. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Carl.